Well guys, if this is the first time you've come to my channel and watching one of my videos, welcome. I do appreciate you coming by. And if you would, consider hitting that subscribe button down there. And also, if this is not your first time, welcome back. Alright, so let's get on to the video. Hello guys, this is Dan Giles coming to you from inside of an apartment where I'm going to replace an outlet. And this is not just any outlet, it's actually a switched outlet. And as you can see here, I have my voltage meter here, and I want to check to see where my switched outlet is, and if I've got voltage. So, this is the bottom of the outlet, and I'm going to test the top. I do have 120 volts going to both. So what I'm going to do is hit the switch on the wall and see which one of these two gives me no voltage. So let me go hit that switch now. Alright, with the switch off, I'm going to test the top. As you can see, the top of this outlet's 120, and what I should get is under 50 volts on the bottom. So I'll hit the neutral on the hot side. So the bottom of this outlet, this part of it, is the switched part of the outlet. And what I'm going to do is to show you how to properly wire a switched outlet. There's a little trick. It's not that difficult, but once you learn it, you'll never forget it. So actually the first thing I want to do is go ahead and cut the voltage to my outlets in this bedroom. That way I'm not surprised by anything. And then I can just go ahead and just wire this outlet up without having any concerns of, of electricity being on it. Once I get it off, my only concern is to make sure I get the right wires in the right spot. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and get my meter. Double check the fact that I've got no power here. Nothing. And nothing. So we'll go ahead and we can, I can remove this outlet. I'm not going to bore you with that. When it comes to pulling these outlets out, this is the best tool you can have. This is the Klein 11 and one I'll put a description to it in the description below, or I'll put a link to it in the description below. It's got all the fittings that you're going to need to do the electrical devices like switches and outlets. First thing to do is make sure you get the, the right square tool you need. It goes right into these screw heads. That way, you're not having to worry about slipping. Locks itself right into it. And it works pretty good. And it also works on the screws on the inside of this outlet so that you can make sure you get a good tight bond between the wire and the outlet. So we'll come back, we'll have this outlet out. Now one of the things I like to do is to go ahead and whatever wires I'm getting from top or bottom of this outlet, when I take them off of the outlet, just put it to the bottom. That way you know that this hot leg and neutral go on the bottom, this hot leg and neutral go to the top. Of course ground is ground. So, alright, so I got the old switch out. So here's my new switch. And because, or I'm sorry, I got the old outlet out. 
and this is the new outlet and you're going to see a brass side and a silver side silver side is your neutral you always need to remember that I've got a previous video on how to properly wire one of these and this is your neutral side your neutral side is always going to be where your ground is now this is where a switched outlet takes on a whole different game when you turn this around to your hot side of the outlet when it comes to wiring in a switched outlet, on the hot side of the outlet, you got a jumper between these two screws. And if this is a switched outlet, that little jumper is going to need to be broken off. So you just take you a pair of needle nose pliers, snatch onto that little jumper. If we can get a focus on that, there you go, and just bend it back and forth. So that jumper comes off. Now what you've done is you've broken the connection between your hot legs so that you have power always on the top side and switched power to the bottom. Now the installation of these switched outlets can go either way. It can go up and down just like this with the ground on the bottom but what a lot of electricians like to do is when they have a switched outlet, they'll actually flip that outlet around. That way, this denotes that when you look at a wall and you've got multiple outlets on a wall or in a room, all the other ones are going to be in there like this, but there's going to be, most of the time, one that's upside down. This is going to tell them that this is the switched outlet. In this case, I'm just going to wire it up and down. I don't know that there's a proper way. Whatever way you want to do it to let people know that, this is, that it's a switched outlet, that's probably a good idea. But we'll just go ahead and wire in straight up and down, just the way we saw it when we came in here. That way, everything's the same. It would look kind of weird if in the rest of this unit there's a couple of upside down ones, every, or straight ones like this, and then this room is the only one that's got one upside down, so it's really not helping. So if you're going to do it, do it uniform. If, all, if you got one switched outlet that's flipped upside down, make sure that all the other ones are upside down. That's probably the best way to do it. So, remembering that the brass is the hot side, and that we've broken the, the little jumper between the brass underneath this screw that way it separates the power to the bottom and the top of this outlet now don't break the neutral on the other side most of the time all your neutrals are going to join together inside of the box and if you break that neutral you're not going to have a neutral feed to go on to the next outlet so leave the neutral side alone you only want to break the hot side so I'll go ahead and wire this one in and we'll test everything when I'm done. One more thing before I go ahead and start wiring this in. The loop that you're putting on these wires, you want to make sure that they're going in the direction that the screw is going to tighten up on them. So when you put this on, just like so, you're going to make sure your loop is going in the clockwise rotation so that when you tighten it down you're tightening, tightening it in the clockwise rotation and that's going to pull that wire around the screw instead of pushing it out away from the screw that's an important little tip for you right there and like I said I've done a video on the proper installation of an outlet and we talk about this in a little bit of detail alright so if I've done everything the way I should have we should have power to the top and no power at the bottom. So I've got a meter here. And we'll check the top. 121.4. And I'll check the bottom. Because the switch is off, I'm under 50 volts. see that top 
top. At 121, bottom, under 50. So if I go over and hit the switch, we should get on the bottom 121 volts. That's the bottom. That's the top. So we got a good switched outlet changed out by removing the jumper between the two hot legs only. Like I said, don't touch that neutral one unless you have a dedicated circuit to it. Most of the time everything's going to be a in, in conjunction with other outlets it's going to be in a series in this bedroom so you're jumping from one outlet to another so a good indication also is to look at your old outlet before you before you throw it away you know make sure that uh, the neutral piece the little jumper between the neutral wires is in place if it is that's going to kind of tell you that you need that neutral there the one on the hot side it's broken. This is the old outlet. In that case, hey, if you know what happens if you don't break the jumper, let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your, your input on that. And tell me also, which do you prefer? Do you like the upside down version of the switched outlet or would you wire it straight on like that? This, this is something that I need to know too. Actually, from what I understand, there's no real right way to do it. It's personal preference. I think in the long run it saves a little bit of aggravation so say somebody calls your office and says hey I got five outlets in my bedroom but one of them's upside down what's up with that well you say well that uh, that one that's upside down that's for a lamp to plug in so that your switch on the wall over there will operate whichever part of this outlet is switched all right guys I hope this is going to be helpful for you and I hope it lets you know that you can do it and it's easy just make sure you're breaking the right side of that outlet make sure you're breaking the hot side of that leg that little jumper off don't mess with the neutral unless you have to and you can do it so this is Dan Giles I'll see you in the next video